What's up everyone? It's a new week, it's a new day. I've about four charity shops to hit on my route today. As usual, I'm gonna take us along with me. Hopefully we pick up some good stuff. So let's get out there and see what we can find. So I actually got a few bits in there. I got three games for three euro, Tomb Raider Legend for the collection, and then grabbed Disneyland Adventures Connect and Just Dance 3. They're two traders. We should get about seven euro for those, so not a bad start at all. Let's see what we pick up next. No joy in that one. That Metal Gear was missing the disc. It was actually missing the game disc. I had to make it of it. And Killzone 2 we already have and it doesn't trade for anything. So we'll keep going hopefully with a bit more luck in the next one. Yeah, so now joining those last few stops, I have one more place to go to. It's not a charity shop, it's somewhere a little bit different, but I'm gonna take as long anyway. Hopefully you see some cool stuff in there. <laughs> Oh, 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 
had some really cool stuff in there. Spent a good 20 minutes walking around having a look. I had a voucher in my wallet with 20 euro on it from a birthday or Christmas last year or something like that, so I wanted to get something. So I just grabbed this Super Mario. It's like a coin box or something like that, but just thought it'd be something cool for the shelf. That was only 12, so I had about 8 euro left on it, so I was trying to find something else for about 8 euro. Couldn't find that, and so I just ended up picking up this little Mario figurine set for 25. Put a few quid of my own ones towards it, but I thought it was really cool. It had to be deadly, just have a few little figures to place around the shelf. I got to the checkout and they don't take the voucher that I have. They don't take one for all vouchers, like, so. We're gonna do, I'm determined to spend this thing. I'm gonna do one more stop. I think we're gonna hit a GameStop close by and see if we can get a game there for 20 euro and then we'll leave it there for the day. So let's head over there and see what happens. Right, so we're home, we're back in the game room. I didn't get any footage in that GameStop. They actually didn't have any games that I wanted. So we'll just keep the voucher for another day. So I'm just gonna take the little Mario toys that I got and we're gonna try and find a spot on the shelf for them here now. So I made a little spot in the corner here, that's where the little coin bank is going to go. So that's a nice little addition. So I just have the five figures. We're going to find a little spot for them all on the shelf here now. Yeah, so I think they were all a good addition. There's Toad over there and his Toad, but the rest of the lads are over here on top of the new coin box. We'll probably move them around as we go, but yeah, I think it's looking pretty good there now as it is. So we're back home, we were only away for a few days. It wasn't a game hunting trip, we were just taking a little break. I just couldn't resist the footage from that CEX shop. So it's a Thursday, I'm conscious of the fact that I said there's gonna be a video every second Thursday with some game hunting. I've got a bit of footage from last week, but we're gonna head out today, try and hit four or five or as many charity shops as we can. But we haven't had as much chance to hunt as we normally would because of the little trip. So there mightn't be as much footage or pickups as usual, but fingers crossed we get out there and we find some good stuff. <laughs> No joy so far today. The last two stops, we never see anything in those places. I think we got like three games and about 30 stops, but you just keep going because you never know. The first stop was that weird Spyro PS1 disc only in a Crash Bandicoot case. It was five euro I left it behind. You can let me know what you would have done with it. I wasn't messing around with it. We've only really got one or two stops left now, so we'll go in and fingers crossed we pick some stuff up. So I picked up absolutely nothing today. I got like three games last week and two of them are going to be trading off. So there's not going to be much to show in this video. I suppose we had to have a dry week at some stage. But I'm going to hit up to CEX. I forgot to bring my trade stuff with me, typical. But I still have, I think, 57 euro in credits. So we'll try and redeem it. We'll pop up and see if we can get some good stuff up there. So 
Pirates who were saved at the death by CX. They didn't get any footage because everything that I picked up was pretty much at the counter. But they'd no N64 or SNES games in the window. They had four GameCube games. One or two I was looking at, but they'd no manuals in any of them, so I wasn't picking them up. So just before I left, I said I'd say to the lads behind the counter, asked if they had any N64 or SNES cards, and he literally came out with like a little plastic box. There's about 15 games in it, but two that I definitely want to pick up for the collection. So we grabbed Aladdin on the SNES for 18. It's actually in really nice condition. Just a little bit of cleaning up and sort that out. And then Jeff Force Gemini on the N64. That was only 12. So at least we got a couple of games to show. I do have a little small pile to talk about that turned up probably about a week ago. So we'll head back to the game room now and we'll go through all those and everything else that we've picked up. Right, so we're back in the game room. Going to be a very quick wrap up this week. We don't really have much stuff to show off. We got out to about four or five charity shops last week and we picked up three games just in one stop. I've already shown all these in the car, so I'll just whip through them really quickly. But we got Tomb Raider Legend for a euro. That's going to go into the collection. And then we picked up Disneyland Adventures Connect and Just Dance 3. So Tomb Raider is a six euro game. So basically we picked that up for one euro and spent two euro on these two, which are going to trade for about seven in total. I think one Disneyland goes for like two and Just Dance goes for five or so. That was a good start. We went away on a little break then for a couple of days, which I've already talked about, and that sort of stopped us from getting to as many charity shops as we normally would. So it just goes to show, when I talk about constantly going to charity shops, you need to be out there. I know it's not possible, like we all have nine to five jobs or whatever like that. Like I know I work five, six, seven, sometimes eight, nine days a week. So it's very hard to keep at the charity shops, but just any chance you get, just keep popping into them. Because normally I hit, I don't know, from 20 to 25 every two weeks before I put a video out. Don't always show the footage from the ones I don't find anything in, but this, video I think I got to five last week and five this week and we found one game for the collection and two traders so if you can just try and get out there as much as possible because this was absolute proof that unless you're out there all the time it's very hard to pick stuff up but luckily enough I do have a few more games to show my sister-in-law Kleena who I've mentioned a few times she is a little game hunter herself kind of picks things up to keep and anything that she doesn't want or can't really get much in trade for she pops over to me which I always appreciate so she got a few Xbox 360 games and one of them was Star Trek Legacy. I don't think I've ever actually played a Star Trek game. I know I have one other one somewhere on the shelf there. I'm not sure what it's for. It must be a Wii one or something. But we're going to go with that at some stage and see what it's like. We have Ace Combat Assault Horizon on the 360. A few loose discs. Sorry, I have them on a little box and I'm not going to fall out. It actually came in this, I love when you see like old, you know, sort of rental store covers and stuff like that. But it came in this one, Undercover Games. I've never heard of them. Give me a comment if you know where they were based. But funnily enough, this one has Need for Speed to Run on the spine. But inside it said, it used to be a home to Sega Superstar Tennis on the Xbox 360. And at the time they were selling it for a fiver. So, the Need for Speed is in here. The Sega Tennis one is not. So yeah, Need for Speed to Run disc only but that's the wallet with all the other bits and pieces we might complete it someday if not we'll just whip it out and play with it at some stage just the FIFA 12 nothing mad and then Tom Clancy's Hawks which I think I might have already as well yeah so last stop of today the then we went up to CEX I have a pile of stuff here for trade that I meant to bring with me completely forgot all about it but we said we'd go up anyone and have a look because we hadn't had any luck picking up games I had 57.50 in trade credit Again, I talked about it in the car, I went up, there was a few GameCube games there, none of them had manuals, didn't see any SNES or N64 cards, so I asked behind the counter and the lads in there come out with like a little plastic tub of about 20-25 games, so if you're on the lookout for SNES cards and you don't see them on the display window or behind the counter in CX, I always just ask because he brought them out and I ended up picking out two games, I got Jet Force Gemini on the N64, that was 12, This was these are both really nice condition, I got them a little bit of a clean up when I got home. And then Aladdin on the SNES. So this is one again going back to games that I had as a child that I'm trying to buy back and play again. So really can't wait to have him play that. Yeah, so that's all the games for this one. I actually have a few more N64 games on the way. I bought three of them from the Retro Gaming Store last night. He got a few good titles in and there's some really good prices on a few of them that I've been looking for. So they probably arrive, it's Thursday now, so probably by Monday. So I'll have them for the next video. If you can't wait, I'll probably give a little sneaky preview on Instagram or in the Discord. So go check out those. I'm also a TikToker now as well. So go check out the TikTok. I think I've done a grand total of two so far. But it looks like I'm going to have a bit of fun on there. So if you're on TikTok, come join me. It's Retro Games Ireland. All the links will be down below. But yeah, that's it. Just a very quick wrap up. We'll be back again in two weeks on Thursday with some more live video game hunting. Hopefully we actually have a few more games to show off this time. 
But just thanks again for coming along and checking out the video. And we'll see you all again soon. Cheers. Look after yourselves.